thank you very much for this whole event. I'd like to ask you about your visit to Kurdistan in northern Iraq earlier this month. Yeah. Can you tell us your impressions, particularly from the perspective of the position of threatened, minor threatened religious minorities there? Uh, I am impressed with the resilience of the uh, Yazidis and the Christians in that area for as far as uh, a, an oppressed minority. They are moving back, some of them, uh, in some areas, quite a few, into some of the areas. Uh, there still isn't sufficient security uh, in the region. There are still Yazidis, uh, several thousand that are unaccounted for and are probably being held uh, in uh, bondage somewhere else, probably Syria. We, um, I, I met with uh, heartbreaking situations with the number of Yazidi women that spoke about being sold three, seven, ten times. And one woman talking about having a 15-year-old um, mentally challenged son of hers ripped out of her arms. Another woman saying, I'll sell a kidney to get my child back that I don't know where they are now. It's it, it, horrible, really horrible. But you are seeing rebuilding taking place, much of it privately financed. The U.S. government has really worked to try to get our financing more to help out in rebuilding the efforts, rebuilding homes and communities in that northern Iraq area, rebuilding hospitals, water systems, all the things that ISIS destroyed. So I'm heartened uh, that people are moving back from those minority communities. I'm... I'm I think the challenge remains getting enough funding to rebuild, which the U.S. government and private sector groups are working on, and other governments are too. Hungary is in the area. But the second and the bigger one remains the security a question, which is still insufficient, which we met with the prime minister of Iraq about, met with our military leadership about as well.